Do you know what the US's busiest border crossing is? Besides my passion for airplanes, I'm also fascinated by crossing land borders. The US's busiest border crossing is the San Ysidro border crossing between San Diego and Ottawa, Canada. Uh, how? But today I will take you along the smaller border crossing between San Diego and Tijuana, Mexico, the Ote Mesa border. This slightly smaller border crossing is further to the east, and it is by no means small. In 2019, there were 7.5 million entries into the US, which is over 20,000 per day. And this is only the number of people entering the US, so the total number of crossings is likely double that. There is generally a lot of commercial activity around borders all over the world. We are now at this intersection and to cross the border we have to walk down Roll Drive and up these stairs. Next we cross this covered walkway and from here we can see the cars coming from Mexico and entering the US. And now I have to pass through this turnstile and this is the point of no return! I've always wondered why you don't have to pass immigration when leaving the US. This is common everywhere else in the world. And then about 20 meters further down, there is another turnstile. We are now officially on Mexican ground! There is a subtle sign on the side of the road telling foreigners to enter this house to get their passport stamped. It would be quite easy to miss this sign, in which case I guess you are entering Mexico illegally. Luckily I saw the sign and after going through the immigration process, which was very quick, uh, we had to pass through customs inspection. And a bit more walking. And finally another turnstile and I have now exited the immigration clearance facility. Welcome to Mexico! I love this country and it's not just because of Sofia Reyes. It has breathtaking nature, good food, and beautiful uh, airplanes. On our side of the road are cars entering Mexico and on the other side you see cars leaving Mexico bound for the US. I spent the day in beautiful Tijuana exploring the international airport, the vibrant downtown area, eating huarache and exploring the westernmost point of the border between the US and Mexico where the wall extends out into the ocean. But my time in Tijuana will be for another video. I want to send a special thank you to my friend and subscriber Abdul in Mysore, India for always uh, writing me encouraging messages and positive feedback on my videos.